I said, no, I didn't. In fact, I'm not even in the film. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> but even though you, you don't speak as such, it must have been, to actually be there, to be on those sets, and of course, the original three films were filmed in Elstree, Street, Boar and Wood, and the, the newer ones were filmed in Australia. But watching it as a child, as I did, watching it growing up, as most people here did, I used to dream of what it would be like to be on that set, to wander around those studios, to see that, that magic happen. It must have been... Was it exciting, or was it like most films? So it's actually a bit tough. No, actually, it's not. With Star Wars, it was exciting. Every day we went to the studio, and I couldn't wait. But I was working in the theatre at night. I was very tired. I was travelling from Leatherhead. Got home very late, got up at 5 o'clock, went to the studio, but I couldn't wait. Well, not for the makeup, because there wasn't any, and you just put the helmet on, and it's an adventure. It's like being a five year old. And did you go on sets that you weren't involved in? Like, did you get to go into the Millennium Falcon? Oh, wonderful experience for me. <laughs> wonderful experience. I just want you to understand that even Jedi have to wear Macintoshes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although we're supposed to be impervious to everything else. Yes, being in these two. Well, call them what you like. In one case, it's a trilogy, which is very one story. These are six different stories, but again, basically one story. <laughs> to be a part of the two greatest and most successful franchises, whatever you like to call them, is something you don't really expect when you're my age. So I consider myself very fortunate. It's been a wonderful experience for me. A very wonderful experience, and I'm profoundly grateful. Without giving too much away, that is what happens. I'm not quite sure what you meant by it, actually, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that, no, that, that, is, that is what happens towards the beginning of the film. I would imagine that with, with both The Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, and you say you haven't seen the new film, but there must be quite a difference between actually turning up on set doing your bit and then seeing the finished product. I think this new film spent something like two years in, in post-production, so you must be dying to actually see the, the reality of, the, of your scenes. Yes, of course I am, because uh, I was in California not very long ago. I was actually staying at Skywalker Ranch, which is an incredible experience, really incredible. And of course, actually, I saw George and uh, some of the other people who were working in the film. And then they said, would you like to visit Industrial Light and Magic? Well, now, of course, they've been behind many, 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 many films, Indiana Jones and all that sort of thing over the years. Industrial Light and Magic belongs to George. So I went down into this area, and there uh, was a building with lots of other uh, offices and jobs in it. Nothing said in ILM, nothing said industrial light and magic. And I went in and there were about 15, 20 people. And I sat there and they showed me about 10 bits, well, 10 minutes of bits and pieces. And I thought, this is absolutely stunning. It's the best I've ever seen and it seems to be the general impression, certainly in the press, and I'm quite sure with all of you, and many, many millions all over the world, that this will be accepted as being the best Star Wars movie. It's also a very crucial uh, film, crucially important, because it is the one in which the world will see the transformation of Anakin Skywalker into Darth Vader. Yeah. And, and that's going to be destroyed for sure. This is madness. There with no escape for the princess this time. <laughs> <laughs> favorite line is, we're doomed. <laughs> but hopefully tonight we won't be. And shall I tell you something really, really, well, it's not really a secret anymore. I have the first line in that movie, and, the and in this movie here, guess who has the last line? Yeah. Parker jackets on and goggles and stuff. And I'm there in a tin can, and basically a pair of 
well, knickers, really. Um, so I was very, very cold. But when we went to the, exactly the same place in episode two, it was summer and it was so hot that I was keeling over. Another question. Okay, one more question. One more question from the front. Thank you. This name. This is yeah. it. You can call that chat. Yeah. Anthony. In episode four. There's a scene where Luke's like watching Link Princess Leia's hologram. I thought you were going to say something else there. <laughs> Ru oh, I, no, we can't go into that. No, that is so bad. You're, so talking, what, what you're talking about the oil bath scene. I don't know. Now, folks, there are children here, but all I'm going to say is when you go back, look at the bit where 3PO gets out of the oil bath, and there's uh, Luke Skywalker looking at... Uh, the hologram, or about to, and 3PO has a towel and he's drying the oil off him. And I was rather unconscious of what I was doing with the towel. Very good question. Go back and enjoy that moment. 3PO certainly. Um, well, he was always saying, you know, Hello, I am C3PO, human cyborg relations, and you look like rather wonderful humans to me. So I hope one day you will have a chance to see Revenge of the Sith, and then the Force. We'll be with you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr.